right at the very beginning was our classes turned to do an assembly and we chose to do a version of This Is Your Life and we did This Is Your Life, William Shakespeare and in with that we did a couple of speeches from Shakespeare's plays and I thought that possibly the Pyramus and Thisbe scene would be quite possible for children their age. Before we begin our assembly this morning, there's a certain boy that I want to see. William Shakespeare, come out here. Well, William Shakespeare, this is your life. Mrs. Shakespeare about this genius husband of yours. He's a good husband and he's had three fine children. But of course, being married to a famous playwright is not easy. William had to be away a lot in London. But of course, he bought me a fine modern house, new place in the middle of Stratford. Yes, you left Stratford under a cloud and went to London. Jobs weren't easy and you earned a few coppers holding horses, heads outside the Globe Theatre. Eventually, after being an actor in the company, you became the most popular playwright in London. This is all Nettie's too! Where is my love? <coughs> what? Stained with blood? Come, dears, get them Out! Out! I'm very grateful. Your success led you to being in the company of some of the highest in the land. We have indeed been honoured by a specially recorded message from Her Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. William Shakespeare, you have done really well. We thank you and wish you good luck. This is your life. And now we're coming to the end of the century, and I want you to look particularly at the portraits of Queen Elizabeth. We have four portraits here, but in fact there are hundreds and hundreds. Now, why do you think there are so many portraits? Because she was famous. She lived a long time. Yes, she was famous. She lived a long time, and she was very important. And so her portraits show this. Our queen is more important than her, isn't she? And there are lots of portraits of her too. But we don't find painted portraits so important now, because we have films and photographs. Our queen is not as, a, as important as her. She could have people's heads chopped off, and ours can't. Well, Queen Elizabeth I really ruled her country, and ours doesn't. Now let's look at the four portraits. This one was painted when she was 25. This one when she was about 40, this one when she was about 43, and this one when she was about 60. Let's look at this one in particular. She looks quite young. They've done it rather well. You can't see any wrinkles. She hasn't any grey hair. Why not? She wore a wig. Yes. Unfortunately, when she was about 30, she got smallpox and lost a lot of her red hair. So she had to start wearing a wig. Now, why do you think she always wanted to look young? She wants people to think she is more important. But why was it important for her to look young? 
She wanted to keep control? Yes. She wanted to look as if she was capable of keeping control. And she was very vain. How do you think she managed to look young? She wore makeup. Yes. She put on thick white makeup made of dangerous things like white lead. It was like squeezing toothpaste on your face, which of course would dry out and last several hours. Did she take it off before she went to bed? Yes, or her maids did. It was an elaborate process getting her dressed and undressed. Just look at her dress. Yes. There's an awful lot of jewellery. Yes. Have you noticed the background of this picture? On one side it's stormy, on the other it's sunny. What does that mean? She's left her troubles behind her. She's looking for a peaceful time. Both of these. What is she standing on? A map. Of what? England. It means she controls England. She controls the world. Well, not perhaps the world. If she's got her troubles behind her, what might they be? The Spanish Armada. That's right. It may refer to that, but it might also refer to her temper. So important and powerful was she, that if she was angry, it was though a storm was raging over England. But when she was pleased and happy, it was as though the sun was shining. Anyway, whatever the real meaning, we certainly know that this picture shows how important and powerful she was. Do you think she's got enough white on her face? Shall I put some more on? The Tudors didn't look very healthy. Well, at least this has got some white lead in it. What does white lead do to your face? It's very poisonous and it can damage your skin. Right, come on. Are you ready, Elizabeth? This is great. Now remember, you're looking out from the portrait. So stiff and so peaceful, so calm and so quiet, once Queen of all England is right before me. No sign of a movement, not even a blink. So she seems to be staring right into my face. I wonder what she's thinking. She's saying to herself. What an old girl. Her dress is so short, no jewels as she. No beautiful rubies and diamonds like mine. For I am the queen and she but a girl. But in a strange way she has much more than me. For she has her freedom and I am not free.